Howdy, howdy, ho, y'all. Today we're gonna be doing a, uh, a Mun mission, but with a special twist. We're actually gonna be trying to use ChatGPT to try and get us there, and we're gonna we're gonna mindlessly follow its instructions and hope we get there. All right, so I asked GPT how to do a Mun mission, going there and back, and it gave me a bunch of steps for the kind of the whole thing, so I had to narrow it down. I asked it, how do we build the rocket? And so first it says we need a command module, and it just said like, oh, choose whatever you want, basically like size and whatnot. So I'm just gonna choose the tin can because we're gonna go pretty small here, so here we go. Then it said fuel tanks, and we need an engine for orbiting. Uh, so it said we need fuel tanks, typically smaller fuel tanks, because it's thinking about the higher stages, and liquid fuel engines for orbiting stages and whatnot. It suggested the Terrier or the LVT-30. I'm probably gonna go with the Terrier for the, the, the Mun stage. It, it forgot about that, but uh, it, was, it was suggesting more orbital stuff, so I, I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna do the Terrier and the Reliant. Uh, once I build it here, so hold on. I also asked it about landing gear. It said, yes, you need landing gear. So that was smart of it. Um, landing gear there, like it suggested. I'm gonna put some nose cones on here for decoration. I don't wanna ask it too many questions because this is gonna take so long. So I'm just gonna kind of wing it. And I asked it about a parachute. It said a parachute is very important. Um, you need that to survive. So we're gonna add a parachute as well. Uh, it also doesn't know about decouplers. So I guess we're just gonna have to do no decouplers. Um, okay, so I am gonna use some uh, decouplers. I'm cheating a little bit because it'd be really hard otherwise. And I'm gonna use the the Reliant, which is interesting because you don't get as much control with the Reliant. It also didn't say anything about um, control surfaces, which is crazy. So I guess I'm just gonna go no control surfaces, which is really, really nuts. So this might take a bit. Uh, I asked it about um, solid fuel boosters. Are they okay for the first stage? It said yes. Um, and I thought it was funny. It was, it was talking about environmental impact. Uh, which is not a problem in KSP2, so I thought that was pretty funny. So I'm gonna get some decouplers for this, I don't care. Um, and it's said to be mindful of the size and weight of the, the solid rocket boosters based on how big your rocket is, so I'm gonna go with probably the thumper. I think the thumper is valid. Pretty ugly! It didn't say anything about heat shield, so it must know that, that heating isn't in this game yet. It also said we need to test it, we need to balance it with the, uh, the center of mass and thrust situations, so we have to... Uh, where is it? Center of thrust right in the middle here. Center of mass. Cool. So according to ChatGPT, there should be a stable rocket. So we're going to see how that goes. And it also said to test it before anything. So we're going to test it real quick. I got to I gotta save it. I'm going to call this GPT rocket uh, for now. We'll see what this is like. And we're going to launch it. All right, here we are on the launch pad. We're going to test GPT's rocket. Max thrust straight up. Skipping the countdown. And here we go. Okay, as GPT said, it's stable. Our center of mass is in the middle with the center of thrust. Just fucking around here. We're gonna do a little bit of a, a turn. And it's really slow, because it didn't say to use any wings, any fins, any control surfaces. So this is pretty unfortunate. It's cursed us. And it's also not aerodynamic at all, because look at this bulky ass design, which is kind of my fault, but I don't give a fuck. Still stable, it's just really sluggish. So GPT is chilling for now. Decoupling, going crazy. Kablam. Also, it chose specifically not to use the swivel engine, which is the one that has gimbal, meaning that you actually, the engine like moves to control uh, the direction of thrust. That helps you with stability and, you know, control of your rocket. So GPT is protesting control, I guess. Aside from that, this rocket's okay. I'm just gonna decouple this, make sure the staging works. We have our Terrier engine and our landing gear. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go back to the vehicle assembly building now. Okay, so back in the assembly building, I also asked GPT a few more questions. So I went back to the parachute question, and it actually said that parachutes are useful, um, especially during the ascent, uh, the descent on the MUN, which is really weird because the MUN doesn't have an atmosphere, so the parachute is actually useless. So, wrong go bongo, my friend. And I asked about control surfaces. It said it suggested fins and winglets for control during ascents and descents, which is okay, I guess. So we're gonna we're gonna use both. Just cause. <laughs> Mini fins, I'm gonna put those on the solid fuel boosters, just cause it said so. Okay, this looks a little better. I think we have the Delta V for this. Yeah, we're calling this the GPT rocket, officially. Uh, I'm gonna ignore some of its advice with the parachute and whatnot, uh, because it would kill us. So yep, here we go. Now we're officially ready for launch. It suggests we um, we get up into orbit using our first stage with the solid fuel and uh, the liquid fuel with the, the Reliant engine, I think it is. Uh, yep. 
the Reliant engine. Uh, it wants us to get in a stable orbit of 100 kilometers, which is a little high for what is necessary, but I guess GPT is just extra safe. So here we go. Our rocket looks pretty beautiful here in the uh, carbon sunset, I think. Yeah, carbon sunset, I believe. A couple more seconds and we're off with the GPT rocket to the moon, baby. Hopefully this works first try. So we're gonna go straight up for a little bit, gain some speed. I'm gonna start my gravity turn pretty soon. And we have a lot more control with these uh, winglets and fins. So props to GPT. We're getting up there, doing our turn. I'm gonna use SAS to prograde. And we have Bob Kerman here as our pilot for today. Not the best turn I've ever done, but it's okay, it happens. So we're getting ready for separation here in a few moments. Um, almost out of fuel in the solid stage. Going 450 meters per second. Separation, bang, that was close. But we have a lot of Delta V left and we're just gonna continue this separation. Our apoapsis is sitting at 27,000 meters. Not quite to that, uh, that 100K yet, but we're almost there. Very interesting choice not to use the fairing. I probably, you know, if I asked if I should use the fairing, it probably would have said so, but I, I didn't feel like asking. Carbon's looking beautiful as usual. And thank you guys so much for the support on a previous video. That was like a, a record breaking video in Sully Stupid terms. So um, feel free to keep the, uh, keep the energy going throw a like and subscribe on this video. That would be nice. I'd appreciate it. Um, but it was killer. We got 1,200 views on the video, my last video leading up to now at the time of recording, which is awesome. That's like twice as much as I've ever gotten on a video before. Our apoapsis is rising. We're almost at 100K. We're at 85 now. Running out of fuel really early on this middle stage here. And it's said to keep it small. We have 4,000 meters of Delta V left. Uh, that should be just enough. Here we are. And now that we're out of the atmosphere almost, I'm gonna activate our landing gear because it looks better. Uh, and notice we also don't have a decoupler here. I felt like adding that because GBT said no decouplers. We're approaching 100,000 meters on our apoapsis here and shut off. So we're gonna do a little bit of time warping. And it suggests a stable orbit, obviously. So we cannot, our periapsis has to be above the atmosphere so we don't fall back into carbon with the air resistance. So here we go. This is a little rough. I kind of, I, I begin to burn a little late here, so I, I'm gonna have to point above. Yeah, this, this, this is not looking great. I might have to restart this. Oh, just kidding. I think we're okay. Oh yeah, the stability is not friendly right now. It's because SAS is off. So I'm, I'm not doing the most efficient burn right now. That's kind of my fault. So if we don't actually succeed in this mission, that's kind of on me, um, but hoping that we do. I'm a little worried about this Delta V. We only have 3,200 meters left. I, I don't know if that's enough actually. With what we're doing. I think it is, but it's gonna be close. So I have to be really precise with my burns. Um, I do like the choice of the Terrier engine here though. Um, props to chat to GPT. It's actually crazy how much it knows given how new this game is, even though it's very similar to KSP1. And we're a little above the 100,000 mark for our apoapsis, which is okay, it, it's fine. I'm not perfect, especially with this limited mobility. I don't have any RCS or anything, no specific control, just SAS with Bob's uh, piloting skills. And now our apoapsis is actually not into the into Kerbin. We're not on a crash course. And we have a stable orbit, but I'm gonna circularize it. Here we are. 107,000 apoapsis, 104,000 meter periapsis. Here we are, that's perfect. So I asked GBT what's next in our Mun mission adventure. And it said uh, to set up a maneuver node for a intersection with the Mun. It didn't tell me uh, what kind of transfer window the Mun requires to get there but I know it because I'm a Kerbal Space Program fucking master. Um, so we have to set up the maneuver at the transfer window and execute the maneuver. Um, and it's suggested we also fine tune it along the way, but we, we are, we're not doing that, I'm balling. So basically you, what you wanna do is have the, the, the MUN uh, 90 degrees to where your apoapsis is gonna be. So like here, for example, where my mouse is, when the burn is executed. So basically our maneuver is gonna be here uh, I don't think I've done this on KSP2 yet, so we'll see how this... I've heard they made it a lot better. So here we are, extending. And look, we got a, a MUN intersection, 20,000 meters. Okay, this is perfect. We got a perfect window here. So now we got to execute this when it comes, according to GPT. Okay, it's 853 meters of Delta V. I think we'll be good. Happy May 4th to all you Star Wars fans out there. So may the 4th be with you. And we're about 25 seconds out from our burn here. I'm time warping, so it'll be fine. But look at Kerbin, it's so beautiful. Um, I saw a couple comments on our last video complaining about the performance because, you know, the whole video was crapping on the performance, but it's a good game. All right, I suggest getting it once once it's a little bit better. And here's our burn. Uh, I was a little late, so it might not be perfect, but that's all right. Here we are on our chat GBT induced transfer to Mun. I'm actually very impressed with chat GBT so far. A couple questionable uh, decisions with the, the parachute uh, on the Mun, but I don't care. We're not doing that. Just a little bit off. So, okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go manual now. 
All right, perfect. 25,000. I'll take that. Uh, I told it that the transfer is done. So what's next? Uh, I kind of forgot to tell it that the transfer isn't done because I have to circularize around the Mun before I do the descent. But it wants us to descend slowly and watch our altitude and speed um, and deploy our parachute, which we're not doing. So first I got to do my uh, circularization first though. Now we got to burn retrograde, slow ourselves down a little bit. This is going to cost a few hundred meters of Delta V, but we have some to spare, I believe. Here we are. Just going to check the map view here. Watch our, our orbit come to be. And just like that, we are in orbit of the moon, but we are going to circularize just like that. We are almost there. Three, two, one. Okay, that's fine. That's circularized. Okay, so ChatGPT wants us to find a flat area to land and control our descent. So I'm thinking the bright side of the moon, of course, for y'all viewers, you gotta be able to see what's going on. Um, doesn't it look so nice in the map view though? It's so awesome. Um, getting a closer look here, probably just like in one of these big craters, one of these darker areas. So, okay, so now we just gotta burn retrograde a little bit more. I'm coming in on a different side than I typically do, but that's okay, so kablamo. Now, we are officially on a crash course, and I think about here is perfect, so we're gonna keep burning. And here we are, flying over the mun, thanks to chat GPT. And it reminds us to activate our landing legs as soon as we're close to the ground, but they've been out this whole time, so we're fine. Time warping, let's get a little bit closer here. Oh, we're spinning. We gotta slow down faster. We're coming in hot here. Now we're going almost straight down uh, on this flat ass surface. Oh God, we only have a thousand meters per second left. Oh, this is gonna be so close guys. Hot, 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 slowing down. All right, we are going solid, solid speed. Slowing down 13 meters per second. The ground's right there. A little more. And perfect. That landing could not have been better. We're just a little bit short on fuel, I think. Okay, now GBT wants us to explore the mine a little bit. So now we gotta, how do we get the crew out of here? Hold on. All right. Uh oh. I thought we were gonna tip over. Oh yeah. Look at that. The beautiful nothingness and the stars. All right, we're gonna plant a flag. Site name, GBT fucking mission. Thank you. All right, let's watch Bob plant a flag here. His eyes are different sizes. That is concerning. But look at that. Kablamo. Kablamo. Uh, I don't have a custom fucking flag because whatever. You've explored the mun. You're done. Now I gotta ask ChatGPT how to return. All right, I asked GPT how to return. It said we gotta control our ascent and keep mind of our resources, aka our fuel, life support, whatever. And we gotta make a maneuver node once we're in orbit of the moon. Hello, what's going on here? To return to Kerbin as efficiently as possible. And then we gotta deploy the parachute once we're in the atmosphere and land safely. So we're just gonna do that with what we can. I might honestly have to ditch the craft and use the jetpack, uh, but we'll see how it goes. So three, two, one, up we go. Uh, I gotta make this as efficient as possible. This is pretty rough. Yeah, I don't think we have this, ladies and gentlemen. Apoapsis of 15 kilometers. We're just gonna time warp 430 meters per second left. This is an ass clencher if I've ever seen one. I'm spinning in a circle uncontrollably. Stop, stop, stop. Control yourself, control yourself. You're wasting my fuel, boy! 15 kilometers. Periapsis up. Stable orbit in three, two, one. Here we are. Fine. Perfect. 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 240 meters per second. That's a thousand percent not enough. We're not. We don't have enough. Let's just try this. I'm just going to do this burn. 195 meters per second of delta V. We have 240 and we have the jetpack and there's no heating. So there's no problem. We're just going to have to break the rules a little bit. We're going to have to use uh, Bob here as our, as our parachute, not the fucking craft. But here we are. Please stop spinning. Stabilize! You have 15, 15, 15 seconds. I'm so stressed. I don't want to do this all over again. Go! Nine second burn. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Okay, we exit. We exit the mun. We don't exit the mun. What? We've been scammed! Our vehicle's out of fuel! The maneuver note was wrong because the orbit changed. Okay, hold on. Fuck off. All right, that's it, Bob. Oh, okay, the craft exploded. All right, Bob, we're going ourselves. He's walking on nothing. Let's do this, Bob. Fuck Jet GPT. Come on, buddy. Come on now. We got, we have enough. I think we have enough uh, jetpack fuel. Surely we do. Come on, please. All right, now we gotta burn which way, which way. So look at our periapsis, it's dropping, but so is our jetpack fuel. 
So is our jetpack fuel. We need to get within 70,000 meters, and this is possible. We just have to wait 8,000 years. Come on. Come on, Bob. Come on. Please. Please. We're burning. I think we have it. I think we have it. This is possible. This is possible. This is possible. Look at our periapsis. Just get it as low as you can. Come on. Please. Hopefully he has a parachute. If he doesn't, then sucks to be you. I don't care. Let's go. Periapsis. Under 70. Under 70. Under 70. Under 70. Come on. Yeah. 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 Space travel with the jetpack, buddy. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Time warp. Time warp. Time warp. Where's Kerbin? There it is. Come here, beautiful. Oh, we're going too fast. Where's Kerbin? Here we are. We're spinning. Oh, there's Kerbin. It's right. We're in the atmosphere. Do you have a parachute? He doesn't have a parachute. Guys. Also, GBT lied. It said we needed a heat shield when heat shields don't fucking matter. Our computer's getting loud. Our computer's getting loud. He's made it. He might survive. Hopefully he can survive. He probably won't survive. Come on. Come on, Bob. We're going sideways. Don't waste your fuel, buddy. Uh, honestly, this is not survivable in real life, but in Kerbal Space Program 2, you never know. He could just explode randomly. We're, we're so close to the ground. He's going like 59 meters per second. Come on, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use my all my jetpack fuel. Oh, he's speeding up. Stop speeding up. Turn off your RCS. I you gotta you gotta aim sideways, buddy. Here comes the ocean. I thought we're a kilometer up. All right, get your jetpack out, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Get up, get up. Come on, survive it. Come on. Yes, we did it. He's alive. Oh yeah. Oh, he's so excited. He's so happy. Look at that. Look at that. What a precious little guy. Hey, back in the water for you. Oh, yeah. Alright, I call this an absolute win. We fucking did it. We used chat GBT totally. We survived. Look at it. Look at Bob. He's so happy. He's floating. He's... Alright, in that case, we're out of here. I'm hyped as shit. We use ChatGPT to go to the moon and back in Kerbal Space Program 2, just like that. Alright, I'm gone. I need to pee. Bye. <laughs>